Hello and welcome, I'm Arumba. Thank you for joining me. Let's play more Tech Team Ulmagon Wild with Shen. How you doing, Shen? Doing pretty well. I think we're in a pretty good spot in this campaign. Uh, what's next on the list? Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> what do you want to do? The same thing we do every night. Try to become Germany? Yes. How close are we to becoming Germany, by the way? Uh, I don't know. We need a few more provinces. Oh, hey, we have a colonial nation. Yeah. What are you going to name it? Um, I don't know. What do you want to call it? I have no idea. I don't feel creative today. They're currently called Ulmer Garpa. Mm. Ulmer see. Garpa. We need Hamburg, Rapid City, Dresden, Nuremberg, and Augsburg. So we could probably go and take Nuremberg right now. Yep, we could do that. We have a claim. His allies are crap, except for Bohemia. I don't think we'd have any trouble with that war. I got a free claim on Poland. There was no other mission. Okay. Well, why don't we go to war with uh, these guys right now? Okay. Sounds good to me. Let's get a diplomat back from Mecklenburg. All right, let's, let's, wait. let's just wait a little bit longer until these troops finish up. Because if we move the army, they won't auto-combine where they're supposed okay. to be. How many troops so, does Bohemia have, by the way? Let me check. Bohemia's got 25 troops. Okay, not not a big deal. And he's got 15 artillery, 10 in the, he's got 10 in the front row, 15 in the back. This is exactly why my AI balance mod reduces the amount of artillery that the game makes, because that is idiotic. 10 in the front, 15 in the back is just stupid. Look at our composition. Our composition is pretty good, but we don't have more artillery than we do frontliners. Right. We've got 48 in the front, 28 in the back. How are we rolling on troops anyway? We're at 76. We can build 50 more troops if you want. Yeah. Yeah, I'm continuing to, to train up. I'm just kind of bumping up each each individual one of these guys. That's one of the things that would keep people away from joining a coalition is just having a huge army. Mm-hmm. So what do you think? You wanna you wanna shoot for 20 stacks for rebel maintenance, or do you wanna just have armies that are about equal to our combat width? How do you wanna do it? Mm, if we can do the combat width, that'd be nice. Okay, so if we tried to, we're mostly fighting in in territory we have, oh, where wait, we have. Did, did we revoke his free city status yet? No. No. We need to do that, don't we? Yes. How do we do that? You just go talk to him. You lack five imperial authority. What? Yep. What did we do in the past? Oh, do we have land that we can add to the empire? Let's check. No. But once we've annexed Denmark, we will. Okay, well, how about we just ignore the free city? We attack Bohemia. Co-belligerent Nuremberg. Take the land from Nuremberg that way. Sure. Uh, that'll put us at war with an elector, but it's not the end of the world. Sure. Okay, so if we want to do combat with, then we have 34 combat with, but in most of the terrain in, in this area... It's only going to be a combat width of 4 times 0. 0.75, 25.5, which I think, I can't remember off the top of my head if it rounds up or down. I think it rounds down. So 25 cannons per stack, or do you want to have multiple stacks need to converge to get the full backline bonus? I'm going to go with 13 cannons. Combine two armies into one if you want to have the full backline. Hmm. Now we'll go 15.
It's a little bit cannon heavy now. What are you doing? You sound like you're like playing with your cat or something, jumping on the keyboard. Nope, I'm renaming provinces. Ah. It is the most important thing to do in this game. Clearly. So instead of Regensburg, we now have Regensburg. Uh, instead of Munchen, we have Munchies. Instead of Alsace, we have El Matador. I don't know. Instead of Antwerp, we have Antland. Instead of Sealand, we have Polderland. Instead of Stade, we have Stadium. Why not? I hate forts. Aw. I almost want to go back and play like EU4 1.0. <laughs> just, to, <laughs> just to see what it was like. See if I remember. Different. Very different. No, you wouldn't remember. I wouldn't remember. I remember colonization being a lot more like selfish, you know, it benefited you a lot more. Yeah. Because back, back then you didn't have autonomy. You just, you know, you just colonized. And, and I don't think there were colonial nations either. No, no. Oh, hey, I do think it's a Ming explosion. There, there still was uh, like a dis like you got less. Oh, yeah. Ming's finally decided to go away. Look at Bukhara. It's a big country. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, um, a lot had changed. Okay, our armies are almost done being built up. We have one more cannon that's not going to be done for 100 days, but we could probably declare the war now. Okay. And there you go. Transylvania took a whole bunch of land from Poland. Good job, Transylvania. So you're saying declare on Bohemia, co-belligerent Nuremberg. Yeah? Yeah, right now these armies are pretty like box style, you know, like equal front and equal back. Mm -hmm. And if we need them to be wider, we should just sub in some mercs or something. Or we could we could sub in more mercs right now, but or just have more infantry, but they'll, they'll work fine. That is fine. Okay. So Pomerania's got eight troops. Nuremberg has those six, those ten k guys, but they're not going to survive. What else is in the war? Lüneburg is in the war. Lüneburg is the vassal of Bohemia. All right, that's fine. Siena has joined against us. Thirty thousand troops from Italy will be coming up. Oh, nice! We're fighting in the grasslands. Oh, I thought we were attacking. Yeah. Okay. Aachen has joined the war. You gotta love those ones that we're rolling. Hmm. France, um, France has no baby. Hmm. Keep an eye on him. Why are you rolling so- you're gonna lose. Just run. Run, run, run. Holy crap. Yeah. We did horrible because we just rolled like garbage. Okay. He has a better general as well. A four, a fourth, a four two instead of our zero two. Might have been helpful. Well, we had a two three there. Oh, and the on the retreat screen it said we had a zero two. Are you sure that the three two was leading the troops? He should have been. He was far superior to the other guy, and they were both there. Well, how does it determine which guy takes over? Of uh, quality, I don't know how. Magic, voodoo. One of them is better than the other, so it takes that one. Well, if he's coming to fight you, you might want to stay in the hills there. No? You didn't call any allies in, right? No, 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 no. I didn't want to waste our, uh, what are they called? Uh, Trust. Fla favors. Flavors. Yeah, that is a 4-4 four, four general. Yeah, we're going to have to reinforce this. Mm-hmm. This 4-4 four, four general is going to come, and, I mean, we've got a 2-5 now, so that's nice. Hey, an 8 and then a 9. Beautiful. We need more rolls like that. A 7. And a 6. <laughs> there we go. Wow, another 9 and then a 1. Still, so it's already a, a 1 battle. So there's a bunch of little idiots in this war. Aachen, Siena, Pomerania. I'll probably just piece them out separately. But I guess we can get Nuremberg first, since he's right here. Start coring it. Yeah, let's get the siege guy 
on there. Or were you planning on separate piecing him and paying the Diplo points? For Nurnberg? Oh. Yeah. Um, so well, we are so ahead on Diplo. I figured so we just start thinking? coring it now. Yeah, why not? Because the war is going to take a while. One, two, three, four, five. It's going to be five separate pieces. <laughs> oh, no. One's a vassal. That's right. Never mind. One is a vassal. We lost a claim on our vassal, Arumba. What are we going to do? It's time to alt F4. Okay. That is really the only solution. Well, I think that since he's being a jerk, we'll just kind of hang out nearby. We need 20 artillery to get the full bonus. Okay. Could also go siege Aachen in the meantime. Yeah, sure. As long as the armies are relatively close by. Yeah, it's not that far. Well, Aachen's pretty far away from Nuremberg. Ugh, 4% attrition. Stupid winter. Yep, there goes Shu. Looks nice. like Ming, Ming really is falling apart now. Oh, um, the Netherlands has declared on Aachen. So we're not even going to have to siege it. Aachen's in four wars right now. All right, I guess we'll go for Pomerania. Denmark finished the siege of Lüneburg, but he's a vassal, so we can't separate piece that. All right, he's coming back with 46. Yeah, careful. Yeah, whichever province he wants to engage in, we'll just pile everything into it. Okay. If he, I, I don't think he's actually going to come and try to fight this army. You don't think so? Mm-mm. Oh, you're right. He's going north instead. Where is he going? He, he knows that we're going to just dogpile into the wooded province. He might be coming for the other army, the 24. Well, I'm just going to tuck in behind our armies. We'll be fine. Yep, make a little triangle. Oh, he might be going for Denmark. Because Denmark's yeah. in the flats. Yeah. Well, if we roll better, where are you going? You might want to stay right next to him. Mm, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I think we just pile into this. Okay. I mean, if we don't roll ones, then we should do fine. Oh, we rolled a three and then a zero. And then a nine. But we're already almost out of morale. Good lord. Another zero. We're losing 2,000 a day. What the hell? Oh, our front line shattered. That's what happened. <laughs> Take a look at the losses for this battle. Yeah, Bohemia is making this expensive. It'll ever end. Holy crap, the cannons that we lost. Jeez. We lost 36,000 troops. And he lost about 20. So we lost almost twice as many as he did. What's the difference? Does he have like lots of military ideas? He um, has defensive, offensive. No, offensive and defensive. Yeah. Yeah. And then having just that general that he's got. I didn't check his combat ability, but maybe he's got some combat ability. Hey, we can tech up. Mm, we've, we've been able to for a while. Is it finally time? Nah, one, one more year. Six months away. One yeah. more year. Maybe we get lucky and he doesn't take the tech. We'll have an, a, a tactics advantage for the rest of the war. But yeah, that uh, you know what it is. I I already feel like like we went we went more cannon heavy, right? And I already feel like that's probably why we lost so many cannons. Is that the cannons folded or the front line folded, and then the cannons got pushed forward because there weren't any more infantry to 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 squeeze in. Right. And while it's nice, assuming your front line can hold can hold, having the cannons is great, but I don't we know. took a lot of early losses, therefore the cannons were exposed. And that's that's really the weakness of that formation. Yeah. I mean, I don't even know why I changed it up. Like I'm I'm still like totally in love with my 1226 combo. Yeah, so go back to it. No harm. It's light on cannons, but I can't remember the last time I lost, you know, 15,000 cannons in a, in a battle. Cuz it just doesn't happen. 
Worst case scenario, you have too many infantry in the front row, and they just end up waiting in their turn to fight. Oh, oh he's getting attacked. Again. Are we in the woods? No, we're not in the woods. And he's ruthless. Nine to zero on the rolls. Nine to seven. He rolled two nines in a row. Then he rolled a zero. Good. He's got 10% infantry combat ability. And that's it. Where Roughly do you see equal. that in this window? Hover over any of his infantry. Gotcha. Yep. I see. And we got cannons in the front row again because our infantry folded. Well, uh, we do have room for mercs if you wish. Yeah, we need mercs. We're 40,000 manpower in, hole, in the hole. Meanwhile, Ming's explosion continues. Wu, Shu, and who else has exploded? Oh, Min. Wu, Shu, and Min are out. With Qi and Yan separatists, and Hisenui separatists as well. And Oirat. Tunis has westernized. Oh, congratulations, Tunis. That could not have happened to a nicer guy. Now, with the nobles, we can demand... Oh, there goes Manchu Independent. We can demand levies from them. We lose 15 loyalty, but we gain 17,000 manpower instantly. Is that worth it? I think it's worth it. Well, it'll take us below their loyalty threshold, so we'll end up losing manpower recovery speed. It'll go from 20 to, to negative 10. So... Oh, and we can't, we can't call a diet. Yeah. Not for three years. All right, we'll hold off on it. We can always do that once the diet's available. Probably a lot more efficient to do that. Well, we got the fort at 35%. So that's nice. And I believe Bohemia is out of manpower. Let me check. He's probably just going to merc up. And the thing is that his mercs will inherit his combat ability. He's already got 24 mercs. Wow. Yeah, he's been out of manpower for years. It doesn't matter, though, because his mercs are super strong. Here He's he comes. Keep coming. Yeah. Yeah, it's just... Denmark's doing a good job on Oberfalls. Yeah, that's because we didn't let him die. Here he goes. Hang in there, Denmark. Look at that 84% chance on that damn fort. <laughs> Too bad there wasn't a tick right before he arrived. Uh, much easier battle here. Because our, our center did not fold. Current morale zero. There goes the center. Oh crap. Cannons in the front row again. Every time. It's that it's, infantry combat ability. Yeah. His infantry is kicking our ass. That's all it is. Alright. Back on covering the Ming explosion. Qi has declared independence. Manchu got some weird lands. There goes Nurnberg. Ready to piece him out? Just start coring that. Sure. Okay, this will increase our coalition by quite a bit. Magdeburg, Saxony, Lübeck, Bremen, and Mecklenburg will join. Well, I mean, they'll be in the range to join. What's the diplo cost for piecing them out separate? 45. That's worth it. It's not a big deal. Yeah, I think so. I think it's good. And we got a level 6 fort out of the deal. Hey, it's time to tech up. Let me know if you're ready for military tech. Well, why not? Of course. Okay. We don't gain any troops or anything. Nope, but it does give us land morale plus 0.5. What? Doesn't it? No, not that one. That one was that was a uh, infantry shock value plus 0.5 and a tactics 0.25. Oh, that's what it, okay. I saw what the 0.5 you? and I got excited. Yeah, what are you smoking? Coffee? Morale comes in, morale comes in like... By the From way, on out, 1 our intervals. air just fell ill. How do you feel about rolling something better than a 2-5-1 with average claim? I feel good about it. Let's All do right. it. So we're going to let him die. We got a 2-2-4. Two, 2-5-1. Two, uh, two, it's the exact same number of pips, but he's a strong claim. So I'm going to say that's better. I'm going to agree with you. So who's upset? It's the clergy again. Well, I tell you what, clergy. I've got monarch points coming out of my ears.
There, now they're now they're not upset. Really? Already? Yep, time flies. All right. Well, thanks for watching, everyone. I've been Shen. He's been Arumba. Come back next time. We'll continue our wonderful war with Bohemia, who has 22 mercenaries. Oh, goodness. See you next time. See you soon.